the game started off like any other. In fact, it started off pretty well by my count. I, I walked bot with a squad. We walked into the tri brush hoping to trigger somebody's life alert. We see Trist. I land the Q, obviously. Then she ends up having to burn flash, and if, if this wasn't platinum, that might have actually mattered, but regardless, you understand why I felt confident going into this laning phase, and uh, then I get to lane, and I see him. War of House Wick. I should have known, man. You don't mess with the Wicks. What happened next? What do you mean? He spread my ass like peanut butter, bitch. What do you mean what happened next? Maybe it was his name. I don't know. I read his name. I thought to myself, okay, maybe he's got like one hand on his mouse and then someone else has to help him with his keyboard. I, it's kind of messed up, but I thought, you know, it, it can't be that bad. Plus, I was watching Whippo playing Lee Sin, and uh, he said you can't play Lee Sin like a bitch. You're gonna have to be a little more specific than that, Whippo. I don't know how not to be a bitch. You ever thought about that? Because every time I try not to be a bitch, some dude at the gym walks up to me and asks me how long I'll take on the machine. I just say, go ahead, I'm done anyway, bitch. I just got to the gym. We can all be sexy, well-built sex machines radiating testosterone like you, Whippo, okay? Some of us just have to make do. Calm down. How did it go from there? You mean after I almost died level 2 and deleted my account? Well, I tried to use my TP uh, back to lane, but it seems my jungler has some different ideas. He, he was looking for a gank, and I tried to ping him off because, uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't think we'll win this. Uh, I'm pretty sure he can 1v2 us. I, maybe I'm just being a bitch. I don't know. Plus... I have this gigantic wave to catch, but you know how junglers are. They don't listen to anyone else other than their penis, so I get forced into this play against my better judgment, and it immediately started going wrong. So Shaco tried to put his box down, because, I don't know, maybe getting him to listen to some Taylor Swift would get him to fall asleep, but it just makes him angry instead, and is now murdering me to the sounds of you belong with me. And I try to lead him towards it, but my character, I guess, was more interested in the conversation he was having with this minion than I'm fighting fucking Warwick. At which point I realized Warwick took barrier. So yeah, we were never going to win that in a million years. Let that be a lesson, kid. Sometimes being a bitch pays off. Shaco does eventually get the kill. Uh, so the play doesn't end up being that bad. Uh, I only lost my flash, my TP, three waves of XP and gold, and Warwick still traded one for one. So all in all, a, a pretty even trade. Still within touching distance for sure. Immediately after that play, uh, my jungler actually makes a coherent gank that nets us another kill. This one was actually good because Warwick just got back to lane and we got to shove and deny him a couple of waves. Or so I thought because when I get back to base I have just enough gold to buy the fuck you I win lane item. Uh, so I walk back into lane, you know, feeling pretty confident, some pep in my step, just moonwalked in like Michael Jackson. Then Warwick dodges my Q with his Q, and immediately I start to shit myself again. This guy knows something I don't, man. I, I don't know what it is. Regardless, simple calculus should dictate. I have a whole ass bramble vest versus this guy's sashimi knives. I'm, I should be very comfortable in this lane right now. So he goes to get a back off, because he's, he's pretty low. And I land the Q in the bush. Now, if we actually stop right here, I'm pretty sure I lose this. Now, we can actually have this discussion in the comments. I'm pretty sure I lose this, by the way. Unironically. Maybe, I don't, maybe I'm just being a bitch again. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure I lose that. Let me know what you guys think. I obviously chose not to take it. I had been given a second chance by the grace of my jungler's IQ, and I was not going to squander it by choosing a petty fight before I am ready. So what I do is I let him heal back up on the minions and then fight him. That way, I really guarantee that I don't win the fight. Blind men are, must be an absolute delicacy in the Wick household because uh, I'm pretty sure Warwick just wins at all points in this matchup and there's nothing you can do as Lee Sin. So do you just int? Well, now that I'm down 0-2, I found myself in the position where I had to bounce back from the big deficit. Warwick had more gold than me, more XP, more items, apparently more chromosomes too, so he just has me beat in all areas. And every time I find myself in these spots, I think back to my favorite superhero, the Black Panther. And I think of my favorite line in the whole movie, and it's when this fine lady tells him to stay vigilant during one of his missions, and he goes to her, What are you talking about? I never freeze. I never freeze. Wow, that sounds just like him too. I'm so talented. I never freeze. Bitch, what are you talking about? I never freeze. Yeah, well, uh, unfortunately Warwick did. 
and this led to me having to farm with Q. And if you ever had to farm with Q as Lee Sin, you know, you know true pain, man. This freeze was tough. I, I was standing around watching my team play the game. My mid lane ganked bot. They like pentakilled him or something. At one point, my jungler and my support were killing the enemy jungler at his gromp. And I just had to make the very difficult call that me staying in range of XP was actually more useful to my team than me helping them with that kill. That's tough. That's tough. Luckily, my jungler found some time in, in his very busy schedule between his appointment of, uh, between murdering the enemy jungler appointments and he uh, actually came then shit on this kid again. Also, Warwick has like short-term memory loss because he just watched his jungler get killed not 30 seconds ago and here he is, all enemy, like an actual chimp, by the way. Besitos, bitch, never freeze. And that's when it started, the comeback. We took the tower with Rift Herald. Honestly, whoever the Shaco is, I gotta commend him for even looking at my lane after the early game I had. The true hero of the story, if I'm honest. Then I got back to lane, Warwick is finally getting the side effects of that COVID vaccine and does whatever this is. Then he tries to cheese me again by doing the old alcove gaming trick. I never freeze, get off me. Now look at this solo kill. Absolutely impeccable Lee Sin play. Whippo's watching me right now with a fucking grin on his face because he knows I ain't a bitch. You guys see that Whippo's a jungler now? That's pretty interesting. Anyway, now that I was out of lane, uh, I was unleashed to impact the map as I do so well. That's why they call me six times platinum. Uh, if I was a rapper, that'd be pretty good. But then that's when I see him again, the wick himself. And you can tell I'm confident. You can tell I'm just built different now. Literally, I have my mythic item. It's a whole different game. And tell me how I still get demolished. What is this champion, man? Can somebody please explain to me what this champion does? Whose dick do I have to suck to win against this champion? And just as I say that, Shaco pings on the way. Of, of course, I should have known. But the train don't stop there. Turns out I have Showmaker on Diana over here. That combined with Fudge in the top lane, that's, that's a championship roster. I bet you've never seen a TP like this. Watch. Boom. I lag a little. Boom. Do I land the Q? Of course I do. Exactly on who I meant to land it on too. I kick her in the mouth just in time to watch Tristana make whatever this play is. I'm guessing she's playing in the middle of a car accident. I don't know what led her to the decisions she made here, but hey, I got some kills. From then on, it was just me putting on the pressure. Warwick saw his chance to play some League of Legends after like 20 minutes of watching grass growing and I just kick him in the mouth. Then he tries again and just gets CC till he dies. And suddenly I realize why no one picks this champ. Uh, now, if we just check the score here really quickly, uh, we can easily tell who deserves this win. This is a, this is a bit of a t t top gap. And, uh, oh no, my, my AD carry got picked. So anyway, I killed them all. Just watch this. First off, just some incredible frontlining here. This is this that 1944 D-Day type of frontlining, that goat shit. Then Shrek's Jizz and Shakira, an unlikely duo, uh, try to take me out, but it turns out I never freeze. Who would have guessed it? Now watch this. Land the Q, wait for him to jump. <laughs> I never freeze. Easiest game, easy game, easiest game of my life. And in the end, end screen, enemy goes, too much inting from top. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty accurate description of what happened this game. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Hard agree. Honestly, hard agree. There was an absolute black hole between the top laners this game. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I forgot what the theme of this video was. It doesn't matter. It's over. You guys can go. If you somehow made it through whatever this video was, please leave a like. That helps me out a lot. Hopefully, I can stop being a lazy piece of shit and just make more videos. Anyway, roll the outro, bitch. B b b b bitch?